The World Health Organization, or WHO, cites nine countries, including the Philippines, that show the spread of the novel coronavirus can be contained. The nine countries that have not reported a case for more than two weeks are Belgium, Cambodia, Finland, India, Nepal, Philippines, the Russian Federation, Sri Lanka, and Sweden. WHO Director General Tedros Ghebreyesus clarifies this does not mean new COVID-19 cases may not come to these countries, but the case that made it before have been contained. Meanwhile, the Health Department confirms Friday, February 28, two more repatriates from the coronavirus-hit Diamond Princess cruise ship in Japan showed flu-like symptoms. This brings the number of symptomatic repatriates to five. 445 of the 538 Filipinos in the cruise ship were repatriated to the Philippines last Tuesday, February 25. In Japan, the International Olympic Committee is committed to holding the 2020 Games in Tokyo starting July 24. This comes as Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe on Thursday, February 27, requested the closure of schools nationwide to curb the spread of the coronavirus. Children and students are to remain indoors at home as schools are closed for about a month. Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea will also close from Saturday, February 29 to Sunday, March 15. Japan has so far seen four deaths related to the virus with nearly 200 infections. In Hong Kong, a pet dog was quarantined at an animal center after it tested positive to low levels of the coronavirus, the first such case in the city. The canine belongs to a 60-year-old woman infected with the virus. The Police Criminal Investigation and Detection Group or PNPCIDG chief in Bacolod City was arrested for extortion in a sting operation in Bacolod City on Thursday, February 27. The PNP arrested Major Melvin Madrona and his alleged accomplice after he received 5,000 pesos in marked bills from one of the complainants. Owners of a KTV bar were allegedly forced to pay the amount every week as protection money to spare their bar from police raids. Bacolod City CIDG led by Madrona earlier raided the KTV bar and arrested the owner, 10 employees, and 12 customers. The group was brought to the CIDG office but were released the following day on the condition that the KTV owner will give them 5,000 pesos each week. The complainants also say Madrona forces them to shoulder his travel, food, and accommodation expenses amounting to 6,000 pesos. Madrona and his accomplice face robbery extortion charges following the directive of PNP Chief General Archie Gamboa to go after rogues in uniform regardless of rank and stature. E-cigarettes are now officially included in the nationwide smoking ban with Executive Order 106 signed by President Rodrigo Duterte. The EO comes three months after Duterte, in a verbal order, banned the use and importation of vapes. EO 106 amends EO 26 or the nationwide smoking ban. Definitions of traditional tobacco smoking now include electronic nicotine or non-nicotine delivery systems and heated tobacco products. Designated smoking areas or DSAs are expanded to allow vaping as well, making them designated smoking vaping areas or DSVAs. No smoking signages should now include vaping. The EO includes a sample design. Duterte banned vaping in November 2019 when enforcers had only EO26 to rely on and it did not cover e-cigarettes. But even without an executive order, police then began arresting vape users and confiscating their devices. The police admitted there was no case to file and the people were released. Philippine Airlines terminates some 300 employees as the company suffers losses due to the travel bans caused by the novel coronavirus. The airline says it implemented a voluntary separation initiative for long-serving employees and a retrenchment process Friday, February 28. PAL says affected employees will receive appropriate separation benefits and trip pass privileges. Parent firm PAL Holdings earlier said it registered a total comprehensive loss of over 3 billion pesos in the first trimester of 2019. 
a sharp 355% increase from the total loss of 600 million pesos during the same period in 2018. Hong Kong media tycoon Jimmy Lai was arrested Friday, February 28 for taking part in last year's seven-month-long pro-democracy protests. Lai is a high-profile critic of Beijing and the owner of Apple Daily newspaper. He was arrested and charged along with two other veteran pro-democracy activists. The trio could be jailed for up to five years if convicted for taking part in an unauthorized assembly. They are due to appear in court on May 5. Tens of thousands of protesters defied the police bans on rallies marking the anniversary of the rejection of universal suffrage for Hong Kong. <laughs> 